My name is David Jones. I have um, a law practice downtown. Uh, it's called DJ Law. We represent primarily startups, tech companies, and some nonprofits. And um, one of the things that I'm, I'm really proud that we are a part of is a legal clinic that we help put on every quarter um, in connection with Geekdom. Geekdom is the name of a co-working space that is located in downtown San Antonio. And we also do this in connection with the 8020 Foundation, which is a charitable foundation that sponsors and pays for uh, the legal clinic. Um, what the clinic involves is that we help to bring together um, a group of lawyers and a group of paralegals. And what we do is we will provide a workshop um, one Thursday evening that will talk uh, partly about the legal side and partly about the accounting side of what it means to start a business and when is the time right for you to turn the business that you either own or you want to start into an actual real life limited liability company or corporation or nonprofit. And the reason that we do the clinic and the reason that we're going to be partnering with Southside first is that we know that there are a lot of people out there in the community that either don't have access to lawyers because they can't afford them, or because the only lawyers they have any familiarity with are the ones who advertise on football games or on billboards on the freeway. And what we do is we put together a group of people who are all business lawyers and we're all volunteering our time and the paralegals who participate, and uh, one of them at the most recent clinic is Natalie Meekins, uh, who is next to me. Natalie is about to graduate from St. Mary's Law School and is gonna to come to work with me when she graduates. Mm -hmm. And now there's video to that. I know, it's a um, and, and what we do with the clinic is we try to bring together both legal and tax advice, legal and accounting and tax advice to help people understand what's really the most important part of starting a business. And it's just like building a house, all right? If you're building a house and your foundation is no good, the rest of your house is not gonna, is kind of guaranteed to be bad. And what we try to do with the legal clinic is bring together people who wanna participate with the lawyers who are all startup lawyers, they're all business lawyers, they know how to answer the kinds of questions that you have if you're somebody who is considering starting a business about the things that you need to know. And so, for instance, that's both about whether it's time for you to start a business. In the course of the consultation, you can ask people, hey, I'm in the restaurant business. What kind of contracts do I need to think about having for my business? Or I'm a web designer. Do I need to have contracts between me and my customers? And the answer to the question, do I need a contract between me and my customers? Almost the universal answer to that is yes. But what that contract looks like depends a lot on the kind of business that you're in. And the lawyers who volunteer in the clinics will help you figure some of those things out. One of the things that we're really blessed to have in, in connection with the clinic is that Geekdom provides all of the manpower involved in organizing the clinic. They host it. They do a whole bunch of marketing. They help bring all the people together. The 8020 Foundation what they do is they pay the cost of having you form your LLC if after talking to the lawyers, you think, yep, it's time for me to form this business. And that's a $300 value to anybody who participates. And last year through the clinics we did, we helped over a hundred businesses get formed throughout the city. And you know, when I say this is something that's really meaningful to me, that's why, right? Having my little part in helping to, you know, um, herd the cats that all need to be herded to help put together a group of people that can help organize 100 businesses at no cost to the founders. It's kind of a cool thing. And as we have been leaning into 2022 and how we're going to be running the next group of these clinics, um, I got connected recently to Gabriella and we talked about whether we wanted to have an express partnership with Southside First on either the next clinic or the one after that. And so you'll be on the lookout if you're somebody who follows Southside First on their social media platforms or on the internet. We'll have postings with dates uh, when all that is happening. And it's a, it's a great thing. Um, 
So we it's very satisfying to work on. It's a wonderful thing. I really encourage anyone who's thinking about starting a business who doesn't already have an LLC to uh, to come and talk to people. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful project.